burial hog What belong that way? Now listen, I'll take you to see your mum this afternoon in hospital I'd like to stay this morning, but we're going to be busy in probe, you know. Well, I can go on my own. No, you can't go all that way. Of course I can. There's no need for an argument. I'll take him in. Oh, why? No one's going to be looking after it, Bob. I'll take him in, drop him off and come back here. Oh, well. As long as you think he'll be all right. Have you noticed some of the way that women always make things complicated? Come in, love. They do, don't they? Is that uh, right? Trish has had a baby. It is, love, in that very room, would you believe her? They didn't even have time to take her to hospital. Oh, are they both all right? Oh, come through. Trish is all right. I mean, she's up and about already, but the baby's an incubator. I think it's because it's five weeks premature. Yeah, I thought it must be. Yeah, you know, it's so tiny. Do you know you could hold it in your hand? But they're not saying it's in any danger, are they? Well, they don't have to do. You've only got to see its special treatment it's getting. I mean, it's got its fingers and toes and everything, you know. It's just... Well, you can only see it, you know, through, through glass. Even its own mother can't pick it up. I mean, you're not telling me that's an healthy baby, or else why hope for us? Poor Tricia. <sighs> I tell you what, in off now, I pray, but I said a prayer last night. Not got you out of bed, have I? No, oh, no, no. And in answer to your next question, I am on my own, yes. I wasn't going to ask that. Though he is coming round for dinner tonight. Oh, sorry, he's supposed to be. I believe that when I see it. <laughs> well, I've just come round to let you know the latest where Fraser's concerned. Hey, you'll not believe this. I can hardly believe it myself. Do you want coffee? Uh, no, no time. I've got to get back. Anyway. He turned up at the hourglass, which all right ain't altogether surprising because he knows I work there. So I'm thinking, what now? Anyway, what was surprising, it didn't really bother with me much. I mean, he said hello and stuff, but... Yeah? Turns out he's there to meet my boss, Mr Freeman, the guy who owns the place, or at least did own the place. Because what do you think? Fraser's bought it off him. No. Yeah? So now he's not only whatever you want to call it, me admirer, is also me boss. Is that why he bought it? Because you were there. You tell me. I didn't get a chance to ask him because there were loads of other people there, but first chance I get, I'm going to. Well, what if he says, um, it's a present, I bought it for you? <laughs> no, <laughs> don't. I'm not sure I can cope with having him as a boss, but if he says that... Yeah, little thing. Do you know, it's no bigger than a bag of sugar. Oh. There's nothing actually wrong with it, though, is there? Well, it's premature. That means it was born before it should have been. Yeah, I know what it means. You see, men don't think about these possibilities, do they? They think they come out all nice and cuddly and healthy. Yeah, well, I'll chat might know, because I've been talking Jamie. Well? Well, what? Well, how is he? Hey, what do you think? Well, I don't know. I've just took Jamie off, pointed him in the right direction. Anyway, you'll find out soon enough for yourself, won't you? You know, it's rubbish. <laughs> in fact, it's worse than rubbish, because... Normally, I hope that's rubbish. You can chuck it away. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya, Judy. Uh, can I have a pint, please? Yeah, sure. Hi, Curly. Hiya. Can I get you one? That's very kind of you, can. Yes, I'll have a pint. So, two pints, then? So, how's life treating you? Terrible. You don't want to know. Oh, not if you don't want to tell me. I've been stabbed in the back, I've been betrayed, I've been let down, and I've been finally dispensed with. But apart from all that, well... Hiya. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Not out walking today, then? Oh, wish I were. Uh, not yet, Tara. I've uh, got some work to do first. But I've uh, picked up another one of them sponsor forms. For the jump? Yeah. Thank you very much. Good for you. I've got to get a move on there. I've hardly got anybody so far. Well, uh, I don't want to be in competition, but um, can I leave this on the bar over lunchtime? Of course you can, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll, uh, I'll just get the ball rolling. Excuse me, gents. What would you rather do, jump out of an aeroplane or sponsor somebody else to jump out of an aeroplane? Sponsor somebody else to jump out of an aeroplane. Definitely. Well, now's your chance. Well, can I go in? No, he's tired. Let him rest. <sighs> he's gonna die, isn't he? What? No, he isn't. What a thing to say. Jamie, you mustn't even think that. Well, I'm not the only one who's thinking it. They all are. Oh, Lou. Well, what are you on about? I'm veering that. They're telling you that your baby brother's gonna die? No. 
Well, they've been like saying things when they think I can't hear them. Well, you must have heard wrong. He's been born early, that's all. And he's little. A few days in there and he'll be like any other baby. And how long is it going to be before they bring the baby up? I don't know. But if it sounds of it, it's going to need a lot of looking after when they do. 85, so. Right, oh, Vera. Well. Yes, love. If you want any help when you get Trisha's baby home, just give us a shout. Oh, that's nice of you. <laughs> well, I was going to ask you for an increase in the hours anyway, so it's come at a good time. Beg your pardon? Do you mean you won't pay in? Well, of course I will. Yeah. And here's me thinking you were offering out. Good to see you out. Well, we manage very well, thank you, without your help. Well, it can't be a bed of roses now, Ken, can it, being a teacher? But at the very, very least, you know you can't get sacked on the spot because someone, well, shall we say, someone's got it in for you. Because it's... I don't believe this. Am I seeing things? What the hell are you doing here? I've come looking for you. I think we need to talk. Need to talk? About what happened at work. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think we should exchange another word for as long as we live. Look, uh, I'll get out of your way. You've obviously got things to discuss. Come on, Norman, don't be like that. And how should I be? Oh, hello, Anne. How are you? Have a drink. After you got me the sack. After you making out that I'm some kind of... some kind of pervert. I didn't do that on purpose. Maybe not. But you didn't exactly go out your way to put things right now, did you? Well, that's exactly what I'm doing now. That's why I've come looking for you. Providing? Providing what? What? Providing what? What's the condition? Cos there's bound to be one, so what is it? That I move back into your little house? That your mum and dad come round every Sunday? Forget it. I don't want to know. And you... You stay away from me. All right? Can I get you something? I suppose you're pleased with that, are you? Me? Yeah, at what you've done to him. I don't think I don't know why he's changed. It's since you batted your eyelashes at him and seduced him back into that house. You're getting better at this, you know. Oh, what? Turning up when you say you will, you've got a 50% success rate so far this month. Well, <laughs> uh, don't worry, that won't last. Mm. Do you want to uh, shove that to my call? Yes. Lunch will be ready in about an hour, OK? OK. Oh, I'll tell you a call round this morning. You know uh, Liz McDonald, uh, that, that fella in Strange Ways? Fraser Anderson. Mm. Yes. Well, apparently, now, this is what she came round to tell me. He's only gone and bought the hourglass. You know the hourglass, don't you? No, not unless it's that wine bar where I bought you a bottle of champagne and told you how much I fancied you. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot it was there. Yes, I know the hourglass. Right, well, that's where Liz works, yeah? Well, apparently this guy just comes along, straight out of prison, and he buys it. Fraser Henderson? Mm -hmm. So now she's wondering why. What's he playing at? Hi. Hello. I gather Sunday isn't our busiest day. No, we're usually very quiet as a rule. Well, never mind. It gives you the chance to ask me why I bought this place. You're wondering, is it because you work here or could there be another reason? You see, I can read your mind. Then you won't upon me, cos I certainly can't read yours. Now you've got nothing to worry about. I bought this place as a business proposition. Well, business and convenience. I've been out of action for some time, as you know, and now that I'm back, I need somewhere, somewhere that's mine. It's where I can entertain and uh, conduct business. Thank you for leading me to the ideal place. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. Well, even so, I'm grateful. And I won't be interfering. You're still the manager. I'm just the owner. Most of the time, you won't even know I'm around. Excuse me. Hello, the hourglass. Hiya, Liz, it's, it's Fiona. Oh, hi. What can I do for you? Look, um, I've got Alan here and I was telling him what you were telling me this morning. Yeah? And he, he says, would it be possible for you to come round and uh, have a word with him about it? Yeah. Soon, he says. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, also, just hang on, hang on a sec. 
<laughs> you wanted to come here? Yeah, but she's hardly going to want me to go around there, is she? Um, also, would it be possible for you to come round here? He says you might prefer that to him coming round to you. Uh, I would prefer that, actually, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll bob round after I've shut up here. Sometime after three, would that be all right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. OK, see you later. Bye. Bye. Right, um, that's all fine. I'd better rush this from me lunch. As soon as you like for me. I've suddenly got an appetite. Put myself down for a couple of quid. Have you got a pen? Yep, there we go. Yeah. What happens if you don't manage to land in one piece? Do I still have to pay up? No, but you have to contribute to the reef. Ah, uh, yeah, all right. Well, it would cheap enough, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, then, don't uh, Parachute jumping. Oh, you're doing some, are you? I'm my ankle slag. <laughs> I'm not that daft. <laughs> are you still doing food? <coughs> yeah, just. Oh, because you see, we've been decorating. We forgot the time, didn't oh, we? Oh, decorating where? A flat over the shop. Bill's moving in. Uh -huh. I'm very choosy about my colours. Affects my mood, you know. What's he talking about? <laughs> we just bought what was on special offer, never mind the colours. <laughs> so, what are we having then? Uh, here you are. Hello, I wasn't expecting you back till tonight. Oh, I'd had enough. In fact, I've had enough of conferences altogether. I'm going to start making excuses and sending someone else in my place. Right, well, um, do you want me to get you a drink or should we move next door? It's up to you. Uh, <clears throat> move next door, I think. Right. At least there we can be guaranteed a bit of privacy. Oh, you mean Deirdre isn't due for a visit? Don't remind me. Thought I might go and have a look at Trisha and her baby later. Would you like to come in? No. I wouldn't want to say to her. Well, you don't have to say all that stuff like, isn't he lovely? I think he has a look no, at you. No, I mean, until we know how it's going to turn out. I'm pathetic, I know him. No, you're not. It's different for me. I'm not planning on having any. I'm a delicate child, you know. Your mother always said that never expected me to see my first birthday. But mind you, I mean, the technology today is a different world, isn't it? So how are you feeling yourself, love? Oh, I'm tired. But that's not what you said. I just want to get him home. Yeah, of course you do, love. So, what are we going to call it? Rover, because we were born at the Rovers. <laughs> hey, yo. Joke. Yo, we can do without jokes like that. No, I haven't thought of any names. I suppose that's with him coming early, and that. Well, there's no rush, love, is there? Let's just wait and see, yeah? You know, if... Well, the, what she means, love, is, is take your time. Because no matter what name you stick on him, he's, he's going to have it for the rest of his life, isn't he? So you've not been home yet? No. No, I wanted to... I didn't want to come home to an empty house. I wanted to come home to somebody. Yeah, I know the feeling. So I came straight here. I hope you don't mind. No, no, of course not. No regrets, then? No. You? No. I was thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful if we walked into tomorrow's assembly holding hands? Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I'd say... Good morning, everybody. Doesn't Mr. Barlow look gorgeous? Then I'd give you a kiss and announce the first hymn. Well, that would be the end of the world as we know it. Oh, the honours boards would fall off the walls, the trophy cabinet would shatter into a thousand pieces. The whole school would self-destruct. Yes, I think it would be wiser if we... Um... Yes, kept this our little secret? Yeah. I think it would. So, we're getting back here. We're going to stand here supping all afternoon. We'll get back. He's a terrible slave driver, you know. She loves it, really. Oh. <laughs> See you later. Bye. See ya. Uh, we put me another pint in there, love. Right. Oh, just a minute. Any news? No, no, not fresh. No, I've just brought Jamie home. Left out a bit of a uh, little bit of company for Trish, you know. Is there any restrictions on visiting? I just thought I might go down. No, not at all. No, no, you were down. Delighted to see you. I'm going for the both of us. Thanks. Soldier, I'll be back. Two pints, please. I had, I had a proper look at that sponsor form you left. Oh, yeah. And I thought Des might like to. I think he might, yeah. You're going to do this parachute jump, then? Me? Yeah, I said I were. 
Only after I made it impossible for you not to. Yes, you did, didn't you? Which is why I've been repaying the compliment. Yeah. Name of jumper, Desmond Barnes. Oh, no. And you've managed to uh, collect a few uh, sponsors as well. You're joking, mate. You're not getting me up there. What about all these people? What are they going to say when you back out? They can say what they like. I tell you what, you jump twice. Once for yourself, then once for me. Oh, I don't think the rules allow that, do they? No. <laughs> See, man, it was born five weeks sooner than you thought it was going to be. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Well, you know, that makes me wonder. What? Well, she hadn't given them wrong dates in the first place. Oh, what, made a mistake, like? No, no, on purpose. So that she could make out it was your Terry's, when in fact, she was five weeks up the spout before she even met him. God, what's she want to do that for? Oh, come on, Jack, wake up. So that she could con you and your Vera into giving her board and lodgings. Very successful it's been and all, hasn't it? No, I mean, the, the, the doctors have said it was premature. Well, they've said that to you, then. They've come up to you and said... Oh, no, no, they haven't said no, it to me, no. no. No, but they told Tricia. Yeah, that's what she's told you. I'll put money on it. That kid isn't premature. What that kid is, is somebody else's. Are you going to be here for a while? You know, I did a course on accountancy when I was inside. I thought it might come in useful. Is it doing? Well, maybe I wasn't in long enough. I think I'm going to have to go back and do part two. But yeah, I'm going to be your little kingdom come. I just wondered if it'd be all right if I could slip out for half an hour. I just promised I'd call in on a friend on Coronation Street. Oh, that rang up earlier. Yeah, sure, go on. Hey, no, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a lift. Oh, there's no need. It's not that far. No, I'll need a break. Anyway, didn't you used to live there? Yeah. Well, I'd like to see it. You'd be disappointed. <laughs> No, honest, Fraser, I'd rather walk, thanks. I want some fresh air. Come and have the windows open. But no, I'm driving you. It's decided. Oh, it's nice of you to come, love. Isn't it? Yeah. Judy was going to come, but she had to get home. Said she'll come another day, though. Well, she needs a bit of company. I mean, the long days, you know, and just watching and waiting. I don't think he's going to make it, do they? Of course they do. What are you saying things like that for? Why shouldn't I? It's what you've all been saying. Of course they haven't. Nobody said out like that, have they? No, not that I've heard. It's no use lying. Our Jamie's heard you. Well, it's never heard me. I've never said such a thing. What do the doctors say, Trish? Oh, they lied to me and all. Oh. Why would they do that? Because... Because they're like you. They think I'm feeble-minded. If they told me the truth, I'd, I'd go and throw myself out of the nearest window. Which I probably would have done years ago if it hadn't been for our Jamie. Look, this is a load of rubbish, this. I don't know where you're getting it from. Look, do you want me to call somebody? No. But I'll tell you what's not rubbish, shall I? What? When I said I hadn't thought of a name for him, and you said, oh, there's no need. We know why there's no need, don't we? I didn't say there's no need. Did I? Tell her. Oh, well, you weren't there, were you? Because he's not going to live long enough. No. Come on, Trisha, get yourself into a state. Tell me he's going to be all right, then. Look me in the eye and tell me. You can't, can you? I, I can't, no. I mean, nobody can. And I do want him. I do. Oh. We know. Of course you do. If, if only God let him live, I'll, I'll look after him. I'll do anything for him. <laughs> Which one was it? Number 11. Not exactly palatial, are they? Number what, four of you living in there? Yeah. Must have taken it in turns to breathe out. Your husband's still there. How did you know that? I told you. I can read your mind. I didn't think you'd believe me at the time. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for the lift. Shall I see you back at the hourglass? What do you take me for? I brought you here. I'm not going to abandon you in the middle of this vicious maze of cobbled streets. Oh, vicious maze? Hey, I'm safer here than anywhere else on the planet. Which is not saying much. 
Now I've brought you here, I'll take you back. So, uh, I'll not say see you tomorrow. Even though you will. Because that's not us. That's Mrs. Jeffers and Mr. Barlow. Those two respectable, upright pillars of society. But then tomorrow night? I shall be coming around for dinner and we can be real people again. Goodbye, Mr. Barlow. Goodbye, Mrs. Jeffers. What, he's here now? Yeah, he insisted on driving me. I couldn't stop him. Hey, don't let him see you. He won't. Did you ask him why I bought the hourglass? Yeah, he said it wasn't because of me, but because he needed somewhere as a centre for his business operations. Whatever they are. And you, uh, you believe that? I don't know what I believe. Right, you know when you uh, asked me what I knew about this guy before and I said white-collar crime, uh, nothing to worry about? Yeah. Well, when I said that, no, I'm, I'm being absolutely honest with you now, it's because I thought you'd never set eyes on him again. I thought once he was out in the, in the big wide world, that would be the end of it. But it's not. Well, hardly, no. Not if he's bought the place you work at. Sounds like you're going to be seeing quite a lot of him. I know. So? <sighs> what I said before wasn't the whole truth. Fraser Henderson is a dangerous man. Oh, wonderful. Not necessarily towards you. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. Well, what are you saying? I'm saying think about Steve, your son. Yeah, I know who Steve is. Who's still in the nick. Still, you know, vulnerable. So what can I do? Yeah. Just don't go out of your way to antagonise Fraser. And uh, keep me up to date about what's going on. Right. Well, I'll try. Right, I better go before he comes knocking on your door. Look, let him know if you have any problems. Yeah. That's what I will. I will. You can, uh, you can ring me any time. OK, I'll see you later. See you. What's going on? What? There's more to this, and I know there is. You were up to something. <laughs>